fellow Ugandans, it's my great pleasure to greet you once again. On March 8th, 2023, Uganda will be joining the rest of the world to celebrate International Women's Day. Although this day seems to focus on women, it is actually a reflection of how far we have all come as a nation. I therefore wish to congratulate His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Seven and the NRM government for their relentless efforts to bring the women to at par with their male counterparts. This year's celebration focuses on a theme of uh, education, science, technology as a source of gender equity. And I wish to say that we, we have come very far. I have been privileged as a woman to see Uganda pull forward the women. And now in many areas, the women have come at par. We have very good representation in parliament, we have good representation in the cabinet, and in education generally, we have good uh, progress. Through the affirmative actions for higher education, uh, the government has managed to bring the population of women at most universities at par with the male counterparts. This is really very good for the nation. Our challenge, however, still remains with science. Science is still uh, a big challenge as the girl child seems to be behind in the performance, in the understanding and utilization. This is reflected in the results that we have seen. Like this year, UNEB has just released the results and the girl child performed poorly compared to the male child in uh, science at PLA. This is also seen in the USCE results for senior six, which were re released just recently. Actually, the representation of the girl child at this level in science specifically is then pushed forward as a reflection of the numbers of women that we see in the science careers. Whereas in some careers like nursing and uh, laboratory technology, we have seen a fair enhancement of numbers of women. The general participation of women in science, technology, and innovation is still wanting. Therefore, as the Minister for Science, Technology and Innovation, together with um, the Science, Technology and Innovation Secretariat at Office of the President, we have paid very keen interest on this. And we have undertaken several affirmative uh, interventions. Some of them are still at planning level, while others are at implementation level. Uh, the first intervention is we are reviewing the entire science technology framework in the country to understand the factors which are making it unfavorable for women to understand, learn, and participate in science. So we are undertaking a whole review and in the revised policy which we are currently uh, making, we will be in a position now to provide for enhancement of the women to participate in science, technology, and innovation. Otherwise, without it, we'll never reach the gender equality. Secondly, we have included gender affirmative actions in many areas. For example, as we are awarding innovation, our uh, innovation grants, we take deliberate effort to make sure that women are represented a minimum of 30%. On every single committee that we set up, women are represented 30%, minimum. But we would wish to push that to um, higher than that, to 50%. We have also 
included and deliberately taken steps to make sure that women are participating in the special human capital development efforts. For example, for all the research grants that we give, we make sure that if they are uh, postgraduate studies, then at least there must be 50% women. And in the skilling programs, like the one that we have at Reputity, we have deliberately planned and will be taking a lot of affirmative action to make sure that women are at least 50% in the participation. We are currently recruiting and preparing to conduct a, a training program for, for bus operators for the electric buses made by Chira Motors. And we are still making a lot of affirmative action to make sure that the women are enabled to participate. And in every technologies that we are developing, we make sure that if women are not participating as engineers, they are consulted so that we have gender sensitive technologies developed. Uh, we have also, for the long term, made our input in the Education Review uh, Commission, which is ongoing, because we think that there are systematic barriers that prevent the girl child from learning science. It's not that they are less intelligent, but either the pedagogical methods that are used are not sensitive to gender differences in learning preferences. Or, but also working with the National Curriculum Development Center in the ongoing development of the curriculum for um, a level to make sure that those barriers that we have so far identified are promotive of the girl child participating. At SCI, in our recruitment, we are always gender sensitive. We currently run an internship program which is um, a building the human capital in equipping graduates. And finally, I want to address the girl child. Science, technology and innovation is for you. Because as the minister, I am a woman like you. So I want to encourage us, the young girls, please come for the science careers. You are certainly able to do it. And as we get into those careers, we are going to provide for more women and girls to participate. I wish all the women of Uganda and the girl child and all Ugandans a fantastic Women's Day celebrations for God and my country.